Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I am Lady Day and this is The Healing Butterfly. Please only take what resonates from any of my readings. Don't be afraid to hit the like, to subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And or sharing my videos with your loved ones. It's all greatly, greatly appreciated. This particular reading is messages to and from your divine partner. Without further ado, we will begin. Again, only take what resonates. If it doesn't apply, don't try to make it fit. This is not a Tetris game, okay? All right. We're going to start with, um, what does your person want to say to you, but they have not and or feel like they cannot, okay? For Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, what does their person want to say? Chopped wood, and that flew out there. Mm -hmm. uh, what do they want from the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn? What actions do they happy, happy? Wow, okay. And then what are they hoping for the outcome, Spirit? What outcome are they hoping to have with the Taurus Virgo or the Capricorn? Building blocks. Bottom of the deck is not for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what I'm getting here. Let's get a little energy reading. Ugh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Crack myself up. Uh, what do they want to say is that they do, that they are working on themselves. Why do I feel like you're saying to, to the other person, I'm working on myself? Um, so this is like a double a double uh, energy that I got. Because I have the masculine side saying, I am working on myself. And then I have the feminine saying, but I, but I want to work on this with you. So I don't, I don't know if, if the feminine wants to give a helping hand or is, is willing to give a helping hand. Um, but I don't know that they feel comfortable saying that. There's something about your masculinity or your ego or just you being a, a, a certain type of... I don't know if it's a man's man or just there's certain things that will make you, I'm hearing retreat. Like I just saw a, a turtle go back in its shell. So there's something about like they want to be able to offer you help. They want to be able to reach out. But I think that that would make you retreat more. And then on the other end, it's like I am working on myself. Okay. Um, what they want from you, happy, happy. Again, where I see eggs, that means that someone wants to birth something with you. They want to have the happiness with you. I'm also hearing there may have been, um, I'm also looking at this person as if they're a divine being. So you, um, earth sign, may have ran across someone who is a light worker, um, who has a high vibration or a bright aura, or you just see them as, oh my gosh, you're just unlike anybody I've ever met. You get what I'm saying? Even if you're not in the spiritual realm or you're not in the spirit, you're not part of the spiritual community. It's like you did look at this person as, as that. And they're all, they also look at you as that as well. And they want to have those happy times. I'm pretty sure there was like a lot of laughs, um, a lot of giggly moments. It's almost like childlike energy um and that's what they want from you again they want that same energy or exchange of, of good times and high vibrations with you um and the outcome that they're hoping on is building blocks that you two can build something something solid a solid foundation i feel like they know that your your um your your personalities match and or this is your life person or you know that you're supposed to be crossing each other's paths like you have a contract with one another and so they're ready to also have those building blocks with you so they're hoping that you know we can bring all these pieces together the same way i said like a tetris game they're hoping that they can bring all this knowledge all this wisdom all this information together and really build something with you three 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 on the clock thank you bottom of the deck not for you milk and honey never ending story chaos and conflict blessed and then the tower card Right. Okay. So I, I feel like um, you, Earth sign, may have ventured off to someone or something that was not for you, but it was a game of chess that you're used to playing on a level. Whether this is family, friends, or otherwise, something that you're used to playing at that usually pays out like a milk and honey, like you find your way through this. I, again, family, friends, career, whatever it is, it's like, oh yeah, let me play at this game. But this time around, I don't know that it paid out. We also have 66 of uh, six and then 51 breaks down to a six. Um, it ended up just a never-ending story for you. It ended up the chaos and conflict for you. And then it also ended up um, where you, I feel like even the wool was being put over your eyes that you were you were still in a blessed situation until a tower moment hit. And now you're feeling orphaned from this unfinished, unfinished symphony that it was faded. And you had a deep knowing that it was that you were supposed to go to distance, okay? So there goes the bottom of the deck. And we'll uh, get some clarifiers with the tarot. Wow. Ten of Pentacles in the tower. Something happened with the family, with the home, with the legacy. Something brought your, uh, something, some truth might have been revealed. 
with your family, with your family um, earth signs. Let's get some clarifiers. Because while I feel like you want to explain some things, that wasn't the full purpose of this reading. So um, take what resonates again and leave the rest. Um, so what do they want to say? They want to work on it or they want to help you work on what you have going on. One or the other. The King of Pentacles. Usually looked at as a, a very intelligent person, financially smart. Um, in this particular deck, he's a very stoic person. Um, I'm also hearing or feeling like there's there, no one can just give me something. I need to work for it. So the King of Pentacles obviously is very good with his money as well. Um, another card here under top wood about what they want to say. Maybe they also see you as the King of Pentacles, which is why they haven't offered that help, why they haven't reached out because you do, you are that. Maybe when it comes to your money and your stability and being the man and leading the relationship, there's something like that that you want to be able to do. And maybe that's why your partner hasn't reached out to you. The world card. Yeah, they want, I, they want to work at this with you. So where the Queen of Pentacles is usually the wife, maybe they want you to be a part of their world. They want you to work your way back into this, into what y'all have. They want to, they, I also feel like they know that they changed your world for the better. So whatever interaction you have with this person, it's like, no, that whatever they done was like a pinnacle, like a pinnacle part of, of your change of this growth that you're on. Five of Pentacles, but they feel again, left out of the cold. Five of Pentacles talks about lack, being out, left it out, giving the cold shoulder. That's how they feel right now. Maybe because you won't let them in. You won't let them know what's going on. Yeah. And there goes the full card. They probably feel like a fool. Bottom of the deck is the queen of, exactly. Where they want to feel like the queen of pentacles to this king, they feel more like the fool. Like they took a leap out on nothing. They took a leap out just to be out here with a cold shoulder, exposed to the world. And maybe they exposed you to their world, AKA meaning that they talked to their friends, family, and loved ones about you. And then you didn't manifest. You didn't come, you didn't come into fruition with this person. You didn't come into connection with this person. Maybe this person feels a little foolish. They don't want to exactly five of cups, nine of wands. Yeah. They feel foolish. They feel like you came in with passion. Just, yeah. The Empress is resting. They're trying to get their heart back together. The Empress High Priestess is getting their heart back together because they feel like they've seen marriage material in you. They expose themselves to you just to be left out in the cold and now they're feeling foolish and they wish you would have worked on this or that you would work on it, okay? All right. Next card is happy, happy. It's what they want from you. The action that they want from you. I'm also hearing that uh, they probably hitched their shit and, and left. So even if y'all were um, living together, they did pack up their stuff and leave. If you weren't living together, then they packed up their emotions, their energy, and things of that, of that nature, and they left. Um, but what they want from you is happy, happy. So clarify happy, happy spirit. King of chalices, king of cups. They want that emotional connection. They want someone who is, you know, engulfed in their emotions that's willing to speak about something, offer up some emotions. You know, let me in. I just heard, let me in. What is happy, happy spirit? Ten of Pentacles, right? This is what they want from you. Emotional. Get let's get let's get in these emotions. Let's figure this thing out. Let's see if we have a, a family and longevity and a life to begin together. Let's let's build that. Page of Pentacles, right? Someone who offers up. Yeah, they're at a page level, but they have so much to offer up. Offer up that new material, I don't want to say material because it's more than material, but it's like the pathway to the Ten of Pentacles. Let's start that pathway. That's what they want. Give me the opportunity. Let me see your vision and your dream for family because I know that we connect there. And let's start that. Let's go towards that. Let's get the emotions online. It can't just all be about, I see generational curses breaking and I see us making a lot of money. And Okay, that's all well and good and fine and beautiful, but what about us as a family? What about our emotions? What about our spiritual journey? Like, what about that part? One more card here, Spirit, for Happy Happy. Oh, I thought something came out. Nope, didn't. One more card, there it is, for Happy Happy, is the contract. Walk into, come on now. Come on, this person wants the contract. They want the Ten of Pentacles. They want the Page of Pentacles. They want the King of Cups. They want you to get 
get let's get in let's get this this right but right now this is all that's going on four of wands i mean four, four of swords arresting time period for the high priestess because someone is at the two of swords in between not able to make a decision for this will of fortune three of pentacles maybe having maybe having some other parties or getting some shit out the, their system you you earth sign maybe you're getting something out your system something that you haven't revealed to your person because four of swords high priestess i feel is the, your person okay who i feel is a feminine energy but take the take the roles as they need to be they're in this energy because someone's in the two of swords right not able to make the will turn in the way that it needs to because they're in the three of pentacles two of wands High times, good times, whatever that is with other people and things and enjoying their single life maybe. But really at a crossroads of whether or not. Because I do believe spirit's beating you up on a level because I've noticed that she's a boxer in this. Um, going back and forth, waiting, not sure what to do. Ace of Swords needing truth and clarity. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Four of Cups, right. So you're, okay, I just want to say how it is. Your person right now is in a resting period. They're trying to use their higher intuition to continue to ascend and to grow in themselves. Emotionally, spiritually, and so on and so forth. You on the other end, I feel like you're you're trying to live these high times, good times, but it's really not as fun as it all um, plays out to be because you're missing you're missing that connection that you've already opened up. You've op It's like I've never had um, cra real crab. I think I had this in another reading. I never had real crab before. I've only had imitation crab. And that first time I had a real crab cake and not imitation, oh my gosh, I, found, I finally know what realness is, what trueness is, what genuine is. Even if it's just crap, but um, you get what's on. You get more with that. And it's like now, yeah, behind. And maybe your, yeah, your person, I don't think, is displaying that they are in a resting period, healing period with you and the things that have, have transpired. Um, but it's almost like that. As much high times, good times that you may be um, taking on earth signs, you still miss this person because they spark something in you that no one else can fulfill but that person. So if you're wondering why, but what your person wants from you, getting back to the, the reading, is for you to get on this, this path for this contract towards, you know, the, uh, the Page of Pentacles. Again, the pathway towards the contract, which will get you to the Ten of Pentacles. And again, looking for that emotional connection, the King of Cups. Be engulfed in your emotions. Open up about your emotions. And lastly, the outcome, the building blocks. Okay. Building blocks here. May I have the first card out to clarify know why they're jumping and going back but building blocks thank you two of pentacles a uphill battle back and forth building block spirit the magician building blocks thank you the chariot wow and one last card the building block spirit possible outcome that the person would like to have with the emperor wow like i said i feel very strongly that the person that is sending in this message is a female but take the roles and reverse them as you need to and then we have the two of swords at the bottom of the deck so i have to be honest i think your person already knows that having building blocks with you is already going to be an uphill battle um but i think uh, i'm getting the magician two ways one i think you want to be able to manifest them back into your life eventually Two, I think they're trying to manifest a new life to come towards them. Okay? An emperor. Whether that be you or whether God ushers them a new emperor. But I do feel very, like, they just feel like, you know, because of the two of swords, you're, you're not allowing yourself to see this for what it is. It's, a, it's making this, like, a, a tough hill, like an uphill battle just to get this thing off the ground. And for that reason, they're now trying to manifest ushering in a new emperor or ushering you in if if you want to it, will a fortune not if you want to get on this path yeah The outcome is they want to be able to get over this uphill battle with you to, for you to see the truth in this situation to manifest forward movement and to come in as the emperor. But even if you are not the one, I'm going to be very honest, I'm feeling very strongly like even if you don't, then I'm going to move forward with manifesting for God to bring me the person 
that fits the emperor build for my life. AKA, if you're not going to be the emperor, I want my I want an emperor to come to me. I'm not taking anything less than an emperor. Okay, I do want that to be very because here we have the page. It's like, okay, I'll take the page to start the journey to start the contract, but I want an emperor. You you you're either going to sign up so that we can both grow, right, to become the emperor and the empress, or I'm I, I'm, I'm manifesting for that emperor to come to me one way or the other. Okay, let's get some clarifiers on the board from the Love Oracle deck. All right, chop wood spirit. May I have? Okay, thank you. Two more cards for chop wood. Thank you. One more card. Thank you. Yep, chop wood. I like you liking someone and letting them know. So they do. They like you. They enjoy you. Your energy. Like I said, there. I think there were good times. I, I do believe that they have. Um, the ascension card is kind of both ways. They've they, they've ascended to know that there's a soul contract. Um, but they've also ascended since the cults, the, the, since they uncovered that this is a soulmate contract. Okay. So there's a double ascension here, um, ascending when they found out that you were your soulmate and then ascending because they, they prepare for the, exactly the hammer rebuilding, working on it. I do believe there's a level of sabotage on, on the earth signs end, but chop wood with the hammer again, working on it, wanting to put it in the work, wanting to, to exact the, yeah, there might be a passionate karmic relationship that I think I said before needed to come to an end, but let's move on to happy, happy. What do they want from you with actions for you to start this contract? Three cards here, spirit. What is happy, happy? One moment. One more card here. Wow. Yep. So we have the golden mirror is the um, love one-sided relationship. Okay, self self-absorbed narcissist to a to a level. Um, we have the heart with the key, welcoming love, opening love, getting together. Okay. And then we have keys on a ring, many options, decisions, one night standing strong along. So at bottom of the deck is the hand of cards, taking a chance. Healthy choices, talking in the dream. All of this at the bottom of the deck talks about making healthy choices, talking again, um, taking a chance, being lighthearted about the situation. But again, here's this girl with the snake from the past who's a seductress, seductress, sorry, who I think is chasing, chasing you that you need to disconnect from. Did, I don't know if you gave this person a promise, a promise ring, an engagement ring. This ended up as a full ass reading, so I'm just going to go through this quickly. I do feel like there's a golden mirror mirroring back to you, earth signs, about this situation. That someone was welcoming love and opening up and giving you love. But I feel like you know that you treated them like a, a one of many options. And you took a risk and a hand at this situation. And you then, I truly believe, they started showing you healthier choices, healthier ways. But for some reason, that girl on a snake from the past came back and seduced you. And you went on a date and then you started chasing them. And I don't know if you chased them down to giving them a ring or not. But I feel like now it's like it's not all that it was cracked up to be. This person wants to be able to get on this path with you, but I feel like your the earth sign's attention needs to come back online with the situation, meaning need to come back online with the purpose of coming into union with someone. It's not happy times, fun times, passion times, because you and that person's soul resonate. You and that person see something more from one another. You and that person have a, a purpose and a life path that you have so many things yet to be done to, we ain't gonna get into all that. Building blocks. It's either your story or a name. Building blocks. Three cards, please, Spirit. Thank you. Building blocks. Two more cards here, please. So we have separations. The first card out. Yep. Separation. Missing someone. Like I said, whether you on this path or not, they are manifesting an emperor to come into their life. We have photographs. Looking at photos. Missing that person. Nostalgia. And then we have hammer. Sabotage. Rebuilding. Working on it. Right? Bottom of the deck is engagement ring. So take it as it resonates. Behind that is the snake and the lightning with cassette. All right, all right, all right. Take it as you as it resonates. Either you're about to separate from someone from, like I said, there's someone in the past from the past that was that was a sabotaging situation so that you can be ushered into this. Or you sabotage this already, right? 
you are already separated and all you're going to have left is your photographs because you've already given the engagement ring to someone else. And whether it was a, a true engagement ring, a promise ring, or just a promise, you've already given something to someone. Regardless of what your person wants, you've already given you this path to someone. So now it's, it's only right for magician, chariot, emperor, for them to manifest for someone to come into their life that is their emperor and their equal. You know your story. You either promise something to someone while you still liking someone else, right? Or you probably were messing with someone, messing with someone, talking to someone, something of that nature because you want and you want to separate from them so that you can start this new venture. It's one or the other. This is black and white. Black and white. Thank you, spirit. Bottom of the not for you is the chessboard. Black and white. You're either on one, you're either one or the other, right? Because I'm not getting a lot of multiple stories here. All right, one card here, spirit, to help them through this situation. And I have, I'm sorry, two cards because the they're well, there they are. Thank you. <laughs> wow, and flow came out in the fire sign reading, so there may be a, a fire sign around you. I'm not sure. You may have fire in your chart. The uh, the card at the bottom of the deck is flow. Allow me, divine, to move with the flow and respond with calmness and peace. We have companionship. Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. And then we have gratitude. Fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for wherever I go. So I hope this gave you some insight and intuition to your love life and what to do from this moment forward. Thank you all for stopping by and lending me your time and your energy. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. It's greatly appreciated. And or share the videos with your friends, family, and loved ones. All right. Peace, prosperity, protection, and paradise to you and your loved ones. Hope you have a wonderful day. Namaste.